All right, so today we are here in Las Vegas with Alicia. Alicia, are you originally from Las Vegas? Um, no, I'm from Florida. Florida, oh. And how, how long have you been out here in Vegas? I've been out here, um, it's actually my second time. First time I was out here for four months, then I had an emergency. And then, so this time I've been here since December. And what's your current living situation? At the moment, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in someone's living room at the moment, but I'm trying to um, get another job because being out here, my wallet got stolen, so I ID and social, so, and I'm from Florida, so everything's Florida. So, so I'm working my way there though, slowly but surely. <laughs> Are there resources or people to help you get um, your license and your credit or um, your... They do, they're just kind, kind of far and it, they have certain days, certain times. So, and I just found out about that. There's actually a paper I can get where I can get my ID for free. There so, you go. That's and um, so how long have you been homeless? Um, it's been a year and a half. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole long story. This is my first time. I am 37 and it's my first time being homeless. And, what was the situation that led you being um, homeless? I, I had um, a, a battle and I had a I was in a domestic relationship and which lost my kids and got me kind of down and kind of lost everything. How many kids do you have? Seven. Five girls, two boys. I wow. love them all. <laughs> wow. What are their ages? I got one that just graduated high school. She's 19 and 16. 13, 12, 7, and 5, and 3. And where do your kids live? Florida. They're with my sister at the moment until I get back on my feet. So how do you earn money out here? Do you um, booze, panhandle, do dates? Well, oh no. I, that's actually the very unfun part about me. <laughs> I don't do those, so it's, it's kind of difficult. But there are places that will help you out, like um, I did work at housekeeping at a hotel where they paid you per room and they paid you cash. Or um, th there's a lot of ways to make it. Like, or you can, you know, sell bottles of water. Or, yeah. There's a lot of things. You just got to be creative. <laughs> Have you ever worked a nine to five? Yes. What do you do? I did housekeeping. That's what I do do best. I could do housekeeping. I'm really good at cleaning. And I and also out here, like houses. Like a lot of people have bigger places where they don't have time. Like I have a security guard that he's night and day, so he hasn't, so I organize the house and clean it up and, so that you just gotta be creative. <laughs> Are drugs a part of your life? No, they were at one point, I'll admit, because out here you just wanna stay awake. You're afraid to go to sleep and someone hurts you in your sleep, so you just, but you get through it. <laughs> Have you ever been arrested? Um, yes. <laughs> Any jail time? Yes. So um, I'm sure it's dangerous out here. Yes, very. What's the most dangerous thing or craziest thing that you've seen happen? Um, well, just last weekend, I lost a very, very close friend, friend of mine, and um, I guess they shot him. And I found out yesterday that he died. And I was actually looking for him and yesterday. And they said, what do you, what do you mean? Said, mm -hmm. So I've had a lot of friends get shot out here. It's, a, it's just a thing, shooting and stabbing. Sometimes, and it, and it was for a reason, something that he didn't do. It was uh, the girl had a grudge. Mm -hmm. It was what? The girl had a grudge, I guess, and said he did something he didn't do. So they went upon just word. So people need to find facts before doing so. <laughs> and how do you stay safe out here? Do you stay with friends or? Um, well, right now I'm, I'm with um, with a friend. I'm in their living room, and, but um, when I am out here, you just gotta be tough and just know to where to hang out, where not to hang out, or people that you don't really feel comfortable around, such as the guy walking behind now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's a lot of um, awkwardness and you just gotta be strong and be ready and keep something on you, anything, anything that can defend yourself. If you wanted to go back home to Florida, is your family there to help you get back on your feet? Um, they, they wouldn't be able to help me because I, I followed my husband on here and 
wasn't a good idea. They told me he was going to leave me, and that's what he did. And so and now I have no ID or nothing. So. Is there any help out here as far as housing or? Um... I heard that there is, but it's, it's no guarantee. <laughs> So, um, what does 24 hours uh, in your life look like, a typical day? Typical day, um, well right now it's hot, like before it was really cold, but today it's like find as much shade as possible, drink a lot of fluids whenever you run into a gas station, get a drink, um, stay hydrated, eat, um, try to stay out of the sun. I know you can't sit down, but wherever you can find shade, walk very slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, it's 107 today. Yes. <laughs> And I feel it. <laughs> My goodness, yeah. yeah. So after being homeless for the last um, amount of time, what's the most important lesson that you've learned? Most important lesson is that you don't take anything for granted. Like even if, because um, I remember there was a time where I would pay all the bills and the kids would say, let's go to the park. And I'm like, we're going to the park. I got to get sandwiches. I got to go shopping. They're going to want ice cream when I get there. And it's like, I just paid all the bills, guys. So. Even though you don't get to go out and maybe spend money after paying the bills, trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> because you're safe in your house and your, your stuff is safe. Like that's a big thing out here. Like you turn your back for a second, it's gone. And you don't know where it is, which way they went, nothing. Like they, they'll take anything. You put a plastic cup down and it's gone. <laughs> so it's just don't take anything for granted. Even family, if you feel like the kids are being really rough on you, you know what, when the day that they're not, you're gonna miss it. Do you by any chance have any social media that we can share out on the description in case anybody wants to contact you or? Um, yeah, um, I just made a Facebook yesterday. Um, I know it's late. It's um, Alicia Delgado. Um, okay. Yeah, but I have just a Facebook, that's it. Okay, <laughs> I, didn't, I just made it. <laughs> and lastly, are you okay if we use this interview on our YouTube channel? Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Alicia. All right, thank you so much.